In today's episode, I'm going to share with you 11 rapid fire ways for you to live a more balanced life with confidence. Welcome to another episode and in today's episode we are continuing the theme of January which is Get a Balanced Life Month. Make sure you stay to the end of the video where I'm going to share some exciting news coming up. So the first way to live a more balanced life with confidence is to monitor your time. Start tracking, start measuring, start taking note of how much time it actually takes for you to complete your tasks. I know I for one completely get that wrong. In my head, time works in a very different way to reality. So start measuring your time and become aware of how much time you actually do need. The second tip is to learn to prioritize. When you've got a list of things that you need to get done, learn to prioritize. Focus your energy, time and effort on the most important items on that list. The third tip is to set specific goals and intentions. Be very clear about what it is you actually want to achieve so that you don't spend all of your time on things that aren't serving you. Tip number four is to schedule it. Once you've decided what it is that you want to do, what you need to do, what you intended to do, schedule it. Book it out in your calendar. Make sure that it is there because if it's scheduled, it's more likely to get done. The fifth rapid fire tip to helping you live a more balanced life with confidence is to actually stick to that schedule. Don't let it go by the wayside. If it's in the diary, stick to it. Get it done. Don't let the day end without you having done that item. The sixth step is to take care of your health. You only get one body. And once your health is out the window, then pretty much everything else gets affected. So make sure your health is in top notch. If there's areas that you're concerned about, get the medical help that you need and take good care of your body. Eat well, exercise well, sleep well, do all of that well, because you need a healthy body to be able to live a balanced life. Tip number seven is to love your loved ones. Let them know that you do love them and show them that you love them by prioritizing them once in a while. More than once in a while, in fact. Take time and make it happen that you spend quality time with the people that you love and let them know that you love them. Tip number eight is schedule me time. Just as much as your family needs time with you, you also need time with you. When you're not busy, when you're not busy with work, when you're not doing things for other people, schedule some me time. So whether that is time to read, time to go run, time to go to the spa, time to walk along the beach, whatever it is. Take some me time to do the things that light your soul up. Tip number nine is to separate work from home. And this can be super challenging, especially if you do work from home. Or like me, my desk is in my bedroom. So that's when it becomes even more important that you separate work from home. Make sure that you've got a specific time of day when the computer gets shut down and you walk away. I know I am guilty. My husband will tell me that I'm guilty of doing this. So I know that that's an area I need to work on specifically. So make sure that you separate work from home. When you are home, be present talk about things outside of work, uh, and be present for the people that love you. Tip number 10 is to automate and delegate as much as possible. If there are repetitive tasks that need to get done, then find a way to automate it. There are so many apps on mobile and online that can automate repetitive tasks, or if you're in a position to, then hire somebody to do those tasks for you. Your time and money is much better spent paying somebody else to do those menial tasks rather than you doing them. And then it frees up your time to either do more valuable things or to go spend more time with your family. And the 11th, 11th tip for living a more balanced life with confidence is being willing to ask for help. If you're struggling, don't keep it to yourself. Ask for help, whether it is your loved ones, your spouse, your family members, your friends, maybe a mentor. Reach out to somebody who could potentially help you either physically by helping you get through the tasks at hand or just to have somebody's shoulder to cry on. 
to get that emotional support that you're looking for. So those are some quick rapid fire tips on how you can live a more balanced life with confidence. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications button so that you get next week's video as well. And if you really enjoyed the video, go ahead and share it with a friend or family member who could do with a confidence boost of their own and learn to live a life of balance. And now for that exciting news that I told you about at the beginning of this video. Many of you will know that I have a Conscious Confidence online course at conscious-confidence.com. Details below. But now I've also turned it into a group program. So if you and one or two of your friends want to join a group of us confidence crusaders on an eight week long program to elevate our mind confidence, our body confidence and our soul confidence together, then check out the details below where you can go and find out more. Otherwise, join us for a free webinar that's happening at the end of the month where I'll be sharing those details as well as some awesome, awesome content on how you can elevate your confidence, practices that you can use on a daily basis and to start you on your journey to a more confident you. Details are below. Until next week, see you.